peripheral T-cell lymphoma is uh, an entity, or a group of entities rather, that uh, has become more and more um, interesting to work with compared to the 90s, where the focus on this group of diseases was almost non-existing. Uh, the reason is the fact that our diagnostic tools today are much better than they were before, and uh, also uh, now a movement in terms of new therapeutic tools. Um, I think uh, the first trials now are present uh, to show a pattern of behavior that we did not have very much information about before because T-cell lymphomas were usually lumped together with other aggressive histologies and because of their rarity they disappeared in the uh, analysis of the trials. So we know today that there are quite many cases that are refractory from the beginning to induction therapy and these cases will be prone to be helped by totally new uh, therapeutic strategies. However, there is also a fraction of cases that behaves well with more conventional therapies and in my view at least it is important to find out who these patients are and this can only be done on the basis of a systematic uh, work uh, done with the tools we know and where we go and dig into the data and find out who are the responders and who are the non-responders. So uh, if you want this, this way of approach will create more clarity and um, not a constantly changing strategy that allows us to test new drugs but not to have a platform of a reference, if you want, on which to evaluate the potential usefulness of those new drugs. We decided in the late 90s, because of T-cell lymphomas uh, were neglected, as I mentioned before, um, to try to do a systematic study. So the new things, if you want, is, as I mentioned previously, there is focus on T-cell lymphoma. This is a very important thing, that they are looked at as a separated entity and not together with other types of lymphomas. Then the fact that we now have some studies that are prospective and large enough, I underscore large enough, to uh, also um, um, connect with the heterogeneity of this group of diseases because they are so different. They are entities that differ in their behavior. So if you don't have a three-digit three number, you will end up with very few groups of patients that we will, you will not be able to make very much sense out of the data. So the breakthrough is that we now have very few but some large prospective clinical, clinical trials that give us a pattern of behavior. If you ask me what have I learned most on T-cell lymphomas during the last decade in our experience with the Nordic lymphoma group is I know now how they be behave clinically in terms of failure patterns. I know there are patients that fail upfront. I know there are patients that fail late. And, and therefore, this knowledge will guide our future strategies. Uh, otherwise, I feel that we are just moving in the dark. Thank you very much. You are. Thank you.